Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Otavio Santana and today we will talk about CDI with the Unity Jupyter. Okay, the first question is why? Why should I care about the integration between CDI and the Unity Jupyter? The answer is we want to be capable to explore the injection on tests as you are capable to do it on your code. You want sometimes to inject some fields, eventually override some behaviors to the test environment and so on. Everything using the CDI power on the test side. Okay, let's start. I will start with my pom XML file where I have my minimal dependence that I usually use that I mentioned before JUnit engine, JUnit Jupyter, Params, the Mokito core, the integration between Mokito and Jupyter. Uh, I'm gonna use Weld the implementation of CDI and I will use well JUnity to make that integration possible. I have here my bin XML where my bin discover mode is by annotation. If you remember we have three ways none all and annotated my advice for you is, once you are a CDI developer, use as much as possible annotated. It will decrease the, the warm up time, sometimes three, four times, um, besides save more memory. So use this way because CDI will looking only for the CDI class to run the contacts, okay? Anything else they will ignore. I will create here a payments mo mode. So I have my inventory, I have my product. On this case, I will put the name. I know I could put something else. Then uh, this one here, you be my bean name. So let's do it with records, right? At least initially, then you you can rename to something else. I have my products. I have my ship. My payments that will be an interface an inventory that will inject my payment here oops I will inject my payment here Something, I did something wrong. Now it's okay. I will inject. Remember, if I wish, I can inject my constructor. Exactly like this. So I can do this way. I'll inject my constructor. I will define this inventory on application scope. It and I will do my payment. So public void buy a product, product. Okay, then I will pay for this product.
product product oops product I create you know here and then I will create my implementation that you be uh, PayPal or something like this payment where it will implement my payment I will define this class as application scoped using payment from external service and then I will use my product here okay right now I have my inventory I have my payment I have my PayPal implementation around my product imagine a silly sample to explore the marketplace capabilities what are you gonna do I will come here and then create a test to my inventory Uh, I will come here, I will inject, oops, as you can see here, and then public void should buy, okay, I have my product, that, oops, I don't have method factor, but I should banana as you can see it's a simple sample and then I will buy my product okay that is it right now I need to enable uh, well CDI and I can do it using annotations my first sample will enable all CDI before they you go through my class path inject some everything and then do my the work for me it's injecting something goes wrong let's check uh, my payment should have a payment where are you, my PayPal? Come on, you are here. You should be the fool. Let me check what's going on here. Mm, it's not finding. Mm, okay. Let me check here. It's injecting correctly. Oh, yes. I need to add package. I will come here. I will put the inventory class. Then I will execute again. Hopefully this time correctly. So it started using payment from external service product banana. It is natural that we want to overwrite some behaviors only to development environment for example i put the paypal payment where i'm using any kind of external service i'm uh, i'm requesting from some outside api and eventually i want to use a different api uh, to development environment so I will create my payment mock where I will implement payment I will come here using the test envy and then the product I will come here right now. I will 
payment new payment mock where I will produce this payment at some time I will exclude everything else so the idea here is to instead of use the PayPal payment I'm gonna use the mock one let's run and then check the logs it's starting gone right now we are using the test product if I will if I comment here and then run again it will show the PayPal payment logs using from a standard service product okay so I able to inject what I want overwrite what I don't want if you wish you can also use Moki or Moki, such as Mokito to to have any kind of behavior only on tests and that is it thank you